Welcome back to the Rock Shop. Rob here, and today we are going to uh, overview and put together uh, one of Yakima's warrior cargo baskets. This one is the skinny basket. So the process that we're going to do here is actually the same for the load warrior and the mega warrior. So um, this video can help you with those, but we'll also make a video for those as well. Um, skinny warrior, this is a long narrow basket, so it's perfect if you want to put it next to something else on your roof rack. Uh, you can add an extension if you want to make it longer, but um, yeah, let's just get right into it. Tool you're going to need, Phillips screwdriver, tools we also recommend, some sort of cutter, scissors, box opener, and then we also recommend a uh, measuring tape because you'll need this to measure up your hardware to match your crossbars. So uh, let's get going. If there's anything of note, I'll bring it up closer to the camera so you can get a good good look at it. But for right now, open her up. So the Warrior Series are a good basket, been around for a long time. Uh, good solid steel, steel tin basket. Great for all sorts of gear, cargo bags, um, coolers, camping gear, pretty much you name it. Toss it in there and secure it down. Yakima also has um, cargo nets to help you secure your, your cargo. And we have problems with them, so. Okay. So all the warrior baskets come in two halves out of the box. Let that fall off. All right. Got the Okay. Two halves. Everything is out of the box. that aside for recycling later and here we go you've got your hardware pack it's got all the mounting hardware knobs and hardware for your front uh, fairing which is also included and that's right here okay and it looks like that's the hardware for the fairing and your fairing itself here so we've got your handy dandy instructions. Great idea to read through this before you start the assembly process. Heck, before you even make the purchase, make sure you read through this and it's gonna handle uh, what you need it to. Uh, crossbar spacing on this one without the extension is 24 to 38 inches. Just keep that in mind whenever you're pairing it with the roof rack, especially if the roof rack has uh, fixed points. So you can adjust the crossbars, make sure that you look up that specification before you purchase this because that may not line up with the hardware on this basket because hardware in this basket, while it is adjustable due to the design, it's in fixed increments. So that may or may not align with your crossbow. So make sure you look at that before uh, you make purchase. Um, just go ahead and unpack the rest of this. So what was getting caught in the packaging when I was trying to take it out, basket comes pre-installed, got a screw here, screw here, and on the other half you'll have another screw for the corresponding tubes. So that was just catching on the cardboard, that's what was causing the hangups. No big deal. Okay, got the two halves 
Uh, out of the packaging, we'll go ahead and take out those screws so we can go ahead and put the two halves together. Turns there. Okay, got the four screws. Jacket pockets come in handy. Set this side for the moment. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and invert this, turn this upside down, just so I can get access to the screws a little easier. So it's real simple. The two halves just house into themselves. Okay, so you just grab two halves, pull them together, take your screws. Started. Yeah, they all, the washers came off the screws in my pocket. One. Now I didn't tighten that all the way yet. I'm gonna wait till I get them all started. So sometimes <clears throat> if they're not aligning, uh, just resting here, you may have to pull the two halves together while you get your screw in. And you may have to move the insert, the threaded part that does move back and forth. So what I did there with the screwdriver, just gently nudged it uh, into alignment with that hole. Get started. Swing around to that outer side. So now all four started, I'm going to go ahead and crank this one down while I'm here. You, know, you don't have to go over tight on that, just till it's nice and firm. Pop one. And nice and firm. these two off. Okay, we've got a basket. So same front to back, so then from here you just decide which one you want to be the front, which side you want to be the back. Go ahead and choose this side to be the front. That's where we will get our hardware set up. We'll go ahead and catch that. Carefully open up the fairing. You don't want to put a nice slash into your brand new fairing, so be careful. carriage bolts, two rubber washers, two wing knobs, and then these two wings. Yeah, 
Okay. It's fairing, here plastic. For your safety. Warranty registration online. Yakima.com. Alright, we'll go ahead and take this out of its plastic sleeve. Yeah. Nice glossy. Fairing. Pretty sharp. Uh, some people, if you don't want the Yakima logo, some people will, will flip it around. Not the same way. But, uh, I don't know. I think it looks good with the Yakima brain now. So, uh, okay, from here. <clears throat> so if you notice, these holes are at the bottom. So the mount will actually be on the bottom support. And the wing knobs, so I'll show you here in a second in more detail. Let me just get it mounted and I'll show you a little bit more. So, I'm laying this next to it so I can see which side the holes go on. So you know where to mount your um, brackets. There. It's really just easy. Flex open. Slide over the base. <clears throat> and then from here, um, the bolt's going to go from the outside of the fairing back through. Through here. And then you'll tighten that wing nut. So you'll do rubber washer. That's going to help protect the fairing from scratches. Easy, slides right on. Just drop it to the hole. We'll do one first. Slide it into the bracket. Start the knob from the back side. Let's get it started. Same for here. Here you can make sure it's nice and even, and then crank it down. Before I fully crank it down, the reason why it's on knobs, uh, you can actually use the structure of the basket as crossbars. Now, more so on the Load Warrior and the Mega Warrior, which Mega Warrior has an additional adjustable crossbar. This bar spacing might be a bit much, maybe for a kayak it might be okay. But you can use, you can rock the fairing downward and then exposing the tube here. So, on, like I said, on other baskets, you can maybe put a couple of bike mounts or a kayak mount or some other type of mount on the basket, just making it that much more useful. So, that's why you have wing knobs holding it down versus just standard uh, bolts and nuts, which would make it a lot harder to access. So again, we'll go ahead and rock that back. Go back. Tighten up the knobs. Okay. And these you just do firm again. You don't have to crank them down. There you go. There's a cargo basket. But, I'm not done yet. Manning hardware. Um, let's go ahead and back This, you've got your underplate and then your top mounts, which are two pieces. So this will actually snap into the basket um, grid and then this will mount on top. So also something to note at this point, uh, the basket is universal mounting hardware, so it fits a lot of different crossbars. However, it does not come with uh, locks. Locks are optional, so if you feel like you might need to add some additional security to the basket. You can pick up a set of their locking brackets. Uh, a set of two is generally what we recommend. You can get four and it replaces portions of this hardware with a uh, locking hub. And those use the Yakima SKS lock ports. So you can get that and then <clears throat> order additional cores to key match um, other Yakima products. So, uh, again, if you are going to do those, we would recommend that you purchase those before the, uh, you do the assembly. That way, 
you're not having to go back and redo steps. So right now you would intermix those locking bracket pieces with some of these pieces here, and then do it all at once. But uh, for now, we'll just stick with the hardware as it is here, and keep going. So going to organize this a little bit. And these brackets I am going to show you here in closer detail in a second because there's noteworthy info on that. Carriage bolts. So these are not all carriage bolts. Four are. Okay. Four carriage bolts. And then four of these T shaped bolts. So what's going on here? You've got this under bracket, and on part of it, you're going to have square shape and then an elongated slot. So what happens, the carriage bolt will go on one side. The so carriage bolts have a square head underneath this kind of mushroom top. What happens there, that slides into here, kind of locks into place. And on this other side, you're going to have your carriage or your T-bolt that fits right into this slot. So effectively, it's sort of a quick release. So with the T-head facing, uh, matching uh, the slot, you can easily drop the bracket down and out. But if you twist the T-bolt, then it actually catches on the underside of the bracket. That's what helps hold it in place. So you can loosen the one knob, kind of give it a little twist, and then remove the bracket, do that on all four, and they can quickly and easily take off the basket. So, that's what's going on. All right. So, uh, from here, you'll also take out your measuring tape and you would want to have measure your crossbars to figure out what the center to center distance is. Uh, since this is just an assembly video, we actually don't have a vehicle we're putting this one on. It's going to be here for a uh, display. We're going to get it set up at... bracket where you're going to do this little tab it's going to face the inside and then you've got this metal plate that's going to drop down over the basket and I'll just try to give you a closer look here in just a second um, so yeah the ribs you see here so this from your side is actually going to sit on these ribs but underneath so they actually snap into place so I'm going to snap this one in here I'll bring you in so you can get a better look at it. Okay. So you can see these ribs here. So let's see how that matches up. So just lift the basket up a little bit. This is difficult with one hand. Okay. Yeah, actually it snapped it in place. Oh, sorry about the camera view. Okay, so if you didn't see it, I'll do it. I'll do it again on the back one. Bad camera work. Sorry. Okay, so from here, we'll start on the outside. Okay. A little bit. Just down. Loud. 
Okay, and then that slides in. Grab this wing knob. Okay, so these metal brackets are gonna drop just on top like so. Repeat. You wanna make sure that it grabs on this side of the tube. Four. Okay, and then from here, we are going to install our bottom brackets. So again, if you didn't see it clearly early before, the brackets have a square and a slot. What we like to do is make sure that they match. So we're gonna do the square or carriage bolt holes on the leading, the front side, and then the slots on the back side. So we'll feed the carriage bolt from the bottom here through that front hole and then place the wing knob on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and go back to hands free just so I can actually get this done. Drop it here. See if we move a little closer. Okay, let me get this knocked out. <clears throat> Start the wing knob, I'm not gonna tighten it all the way, not yet. Carriage bolt in the front. And when you push it through, there's rubber there, so everything is, whatever sits on the crossbar on the top, is gonna be protected with the rubber uh, uh, pad. And when you pull that carriage bolt through, or any of the bolts, you're gonna get a little debris on it, so just go ahead and clean that off to help the wing knobs. Tighten on a bit smoother. Yep, see, you don't clean it off. Okay, I uh, got one more there, but I'm going to go ahead and get the T bolts knocked out on this one. So, again, because it fits through, it doesn't matter if you go ahead and put it through the bottom bracket, really, you don't have to. You can just start it on the main bracket, feed that through, clean off the threads, get your wing knob. Same thing back here. Okay, one last bracket. bolt on the leading side, feed it through the bottom, clean the threads, and install the loop. to a vehicle, the crossbars would match what we've got uh, hardware spaced at. And then we would just swing the under bracket and read the bar. So feed the T-bolt through, give it a twist, and then spin the knobs tight. Uh, if you have the locking brackets, after that point, once everything's nice and tight, drop on the top part portion 
lock it, and then you're good to go. So I'll uh, just give you some quick dimensions on this. We'll do inside to inside, because that's where your gear's gonna go, and that's what typically matters the most. From the inside to the inside, you're looking at 54 and a quarter inches. Inside to inside. 20 and 7 eighths. 20 and 7 eighths inches. So yeah, this is a great, great option. Uh, if you need to carry some extra cargo, but also need to carry other things on the roof, uh, bicycles, kayaks, uh, maybe a narrow cargo box, something like that. Um, but yeah, great option. Again, this is the Skinny Warrior from Yakima. They also offer the Load Warrior and the Mega Warrior. All three Warriors are able to add an extension piece in the middle. Uh, sizes will differ depending on the, the model, but that adds more length and just gives you overall more carrying capacity. As far as uh, poundage goes, just check our website, therackshop.com. You can just search for um, Skinny Warrior, Load Warrior, Big Warrior, what have you, and pull up all the specifications there. Um, but yeah, any other questions, feel free to drop us an email, hello at directshop.com, or come by the shop. Uh, we're here in North Austin, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.